Hello and uh, welcome back to my channel. Today is the 25th of uh, July and I hope everyone is having a, a great time. Those in the UK, um, I hope that you're staying hydrated and uh, are enjoying uh, this lovely fantastic uh, heat wave which is uh, killing me right now. And for those of you who don't know, I do have uh, you know some severe back problems and um, it has a uh, reduced my mobility um, an awful lot. So sadly moving on with the, from there to one of uh, my latest pickups. I've been dying to do a video on this. Um, I have uh, a few more videos I've, I still have lined up, but as you can clearly see here, I have bought uh, the Canadian Four Nines, um, $20. Um, well, so call it eight grams if you want a uh, coin or round or it's not really a coin. I don't, well, it has to be a coin. It's $20. Sorry. So there's about 200 and I think 25,000 that were minted. There you go. And the last batch of these sold out very, very quickly. So I, uh, I got in here and I bought one, um, just for curiosity's sake. And the price was it wasn't uh, bad at all. So um, I've already gone ahead and I've just uh, pulled it away from this uh, cover, which it does flip up, but it's just a bit sticky from the heat and stuff. And it is encapsulated. But here's the, the face. Let's put it down. And I can show you much better. So you can see there how... Uh, how fantastic this little piece is. And we'll, let's have a look here at the goose. Yeah. Let's see, I like that. I mean, it's, uh, has that frosted uh, effect and it's, uh, yeah, it's just a lovely, lovely little bit. And uh, as you can see, it's the, um, Sorry, I'm just trying to get a, a really good shot of this to, to show it to you. Let's try my hand here. No, that's not going to work. I'm sorry. There we go. 2014. But I got this brand uh, new, still all sorted out. As I said, at a reasonable price. So I was quite pleased. So... Anyway, as I said, there, there is a whole series about collecting these and there's a whole um, a variety of Canadian little time pieces, I suppose, if you want to collect. But I really wanted just to grab, you know, uh, the ghost because it's one of those things that, you know, um, well, if you don't have it, you're going to miss out. If you do have it, well, you have it. So... Anyway, right, so let's just slide her back in. Actually, I'm going to move on. I also got, by the way, a certificate of um, authenticity, which goes on and it tells you a bit about it. So, right, but the shocking news or the news I really want to present. I have now had my own two custom pieces made for me, uh, for my molds. And those of you who don't know about it, yes, I do my own pouring, but I finally got, and they've just arrived about 10 minutes ago, uh, my two new graphite molds. So they're slightly different. I only paid for one because he didn't like this first one with the uh, lettering being as spaced out. I think it's uh, fantastic, but you take, uh, your view. There we go. ACE. And you get the Ace of Spades. Now this is designed to take approximately an ounce or just over an ounce of uh, silver. So um, I'll be definitely making them. I mean the rim is deep enough. I think it, he, he did say it could take about two ounces but I'm not quite sure. I reckon That'll be 
maybe an ounce and a half. And the other one that he had made that he just threw in there because he didn't like it was that one. He's, again, ACE. Nothing wrong with the mold. He was playing with the letters and he decided this was the best way to, to go. So I have two of them here. One very prominent that will be sticking out. These will have just a very kind of faint ridge. Um, the A symbol, uh, again, will be raised. Uh, the spade, I mean, will be raised. And of course, the letters will be raised even further on both of these. So would you do you guys like A? Or B? Well, I'll do some pours and... Uh, Hopefully, you guys can uh, tell me which one you like. Anyway, my next video for next week, let's put those here for now as well. Um, I have three other coins and I don't know which one to follow up on. So let me know, as I said, either A or B, A being the deep one, B being the short one. Which one of these uh, coins would you like to see? And I'm totally stealing this thought uh, from Backyard Bullion. But um, it's a really great idea to interact with you guys. Um, I'm for my next video, I have a um, an Indian, um, the Indian Company coin. I have, which I've always talked about it, my Scrooge McDuck from DuckTales. Or I have a lovely seahorse to go. So which one do you want to find out more about? Which uh, one would you like uh, to be featured in the next video? Uh, it's up to you guys. I'll uh, I'll be making the video on Friday, I hope. Uh, remember, you guys have five days left. And then I'll be drawing um, the raffle for my giveaway. So hurry on over. Make sure that you leave that comment and follow the terms and conditions. And have a great time. I'll uh, I look forward to seeing uh, your comments below. And happy sacking, guys.